here's a quick video that describes how to take a email address book out of a Xerox and put it into a sharp copier. So the first thing to do is open the Xerox web page by going to the IP address in a web browser and click address book. If it asks you to log in, the default username is admin and the default password is 111141. So go to your address book and then up here in the, bo in the top right there's an export uh, area and then click the export button. You can leave this on comma hex 2c. So that will download. And go ahead and open that file. And what we're going to do is take these and we're going to copy them into uh, my template that I've created. So all we really need to take out of here is the display name. So we'll copy these and then we'll paste them into the name and the search string fields. We'll go back and copy the email addresses here back to my template and put them in column G and then you can delete the rest of these that aren't being used or you can add more if you need to just increase the numbers as they go along then we'll save this file and we'll just call it uh, address book 123 save that it's going to give you this error that it may contain features not compatible with CSV. Just click yes. And then go to your Sharp web page and you'll click System Settings, System Control, Data Import, Export CSV Format. And then we're just going to import that file. So that's under Address Book 123. So just click Execute here and you'll see it added the four emails to the address book. And if you want to double check that, just click the address book tab and you'll see it added the four along with one that was already in here straight to the address book. It's that simple. If you're doing uh, scan to folders, you'll have to put those in manually. And those you can do under address book. Just click add here. And then uh, the address name is what the button on the screen will read. And if you scroll down to the bottom half of the page, there's a network folder tab where you'll enter the path here and then some credentials, username and password here. And then just click submit at the bottom of the page.